So we're gonna do a quick little walk around. This car you see here is a 1992, 93 Mazda Miata. You can see it's currently under construction. So I've had this car for 14 years. I traded it one for one for a BMW 318Ti of the same year, 1993. And the 318 had some issues, but this car was running and I put it up on Craigslist. BMW for trade, send me what you got. And some guy right away immediately said, hey, I have a Miata, runs. So we drove up here, shook hands, swapped cars, and his name was Manuel something. So why am I taking the engine apart today? I actually need to take the engine out. So this car sat for about 10 years. During the time I was in the military, this car didn't get driven. It was parked. It was used as a hot box. So when I came back, I had some time to now work on it. I moved back to California. And what I realized is that the car wouldn't turn on. Checked the gas tank. It had gunk like black tar inside the, the gas tank. So I changed the gas tank, fuel pump, fuel filter. I sent out the injectors to get professionally cleaned. And it ran, it ran good. The downside was there was a little bit of detonation inside the engine. Could be through, um, timing was off or something, but I kept driving it, right? And I drove it really aggressively. And then one day the engine failed. I turned on the car at my friend's house one Friday evening and it misfired and it blew a lot of blue smoke and then it cleared itself out like it it stopped and I drove home parked it so the next day turned on the car had a misfire and I'm thinking okay I'm just gonna rev it a bit and it's gonna clear its throat work out the bugs no it did not it kept misfiring and it kept burning uh, oil and blowing heavy blue smoke, like really dense, to the point where the front yard, the street was covered in blue smoke. It looked like dense fog. So then I, I parked it, I parked it again. And I had it parked for three years again. Like I, what I did to solve that issue of transportation is I ended up buying a 99 Mazda Miata. And I drove that for those three years. So I parked that Miata, I ended up buying a new car because you know, I like the comforts and luxuries of life. And now that I have that new car, new car gets you from point A to point B. It doesn't have any issues. I never have to work on it. And I started to kind of get that itch again to fix something with my hands. And the cool thing about this car is the story that it has. The fact that I've had it for 14 years, I've taken it to the racetrack, I've driven it everywhere. It's been really fun. It's convertible. So one of the things that happened when I got it running the last time was I got this canvas ragtop from one of my buddies, Terry Pham, known as um, <laughs> Sir Pham. Yeah, there's a rooster in the background. So the old ragtop had a bunch of holes in it. I ended up getting a razor blade and I cut all of this off, all of this off, and it had way more visibility. <laughs> By the way, I'm in Pacoima, the hood. And uh, I don't like those chickens, but they're here. They're here, they scratch the floor, they fertilize. <laughs> Jeez, please. Fertilize the dirt, they keep the plants alive. But yeah, the car's not too bad. For it being a hot box, you know, the dashboard isn't cracked. The seats have seen better days, like that one's got some tears on it. It's got spider webs. Overall, um, everything's in okay condition. Okay, we're sure I get it. So it doesn't have a radio. The air conditioner and the heater don't work. They blow, but like not cold or hot. So the heater core, I believe the heater core is damaged because it's not connected. And it has some body damage here. So I had to work on. Okay, well, I'm gonna sh cut this video short because these roosters don't like to let me talk. But you know, it's good times, it's good times. This car is gonna stay around my life. I'm gonna keep fixing it. it takes no. Well, sorry guys. It takes no effort to fix it. Parts are real cheap and it's fun to work on. It's one of the things where it's like peaceful. It's meditation. Okay guys, thank you for watching this video. I'm gonna sign off now.